will feature a gentleman who's been competing 10 years internationally and is just making his very first appearance in a gold medal match. The men's gold medal match. And here he is, Roberto Hernandez from El Salvador, competing 10 years on the international scene, and this is the first time he's been able to stride out there and step up to the shooting line in the gold medal match. Yeah, it's great to see he doesn't get a lot of support from his federation and has self-funded himself a lot over the years, and so it's great to see him finally make it here. Talk about pay to play. Yes. He puts it on the line. Roberto Hernandez, 26 years of age, had a six-point win in the 1 8th round, beat Martin Damsbo in a tiebreaker, and then beat Stefan Hansen by one. I'd say he earned this spot. Definitely. It's definitely not handed to him. He had to work his way all the way through that bracket. And here comes Sebastian Pinot. The number one seed from France who got married this summer and is back at it now on the World Cup Tour. And we will see Sebastian Peno on the World Cup Finals in Mexico City next month. And we are watching him here in the gold medal match. Sebastian Peno, a one point winner in the 1 8th round, defeated Bridger Deaton by five in the quarterfinals and then beat Rio Wild by one in the semifinals, 147 to 146. He earned a two. Definitely. No doubt about that. And that's... He just, As it should be. Yeah. And he just got back from his honeymoon, so... Oh, Crystal, he's still on his honeymoon. <laughs> You're still on your honeymoon, right? Seven years later, sure. Seven years later, <laughs> sure, sure. I know I am. It's been only 36 years. Sometimes it pays to be politically correct. <laughs> So El Salvador and France featured in this men's gold medal match. Sebastian Peno, who won stage one in Shanghai back at the start of the outdoor season, beating Mike Schlosser in a shoot off, both shooting tens, but Sebastian had a better 10. And how about that 10 for Roberto Hernandez? And I think for finals points, it determines his Sebastian, if he wins this, will jump ahead of Rio. If he loses, he'll stay tied or one one point below him. So. Both gentlemen shooting tens to start off the match. Establish the benchmark. And when Veers left just a little bit. Pay no. Pounds one into the ten ring. Yes. So good response. And Peno maintains the one point lead that he took after that second shot. Sebastian Peno, the nicest gentleman on the World Cup circuit. We first saw him start to emerge back in 2014 at the uh, Indoor World Cup Championships. Faced Braden Galantine in the gold medal match, the World Cup final in Las Vegas. And he was on a roll there, defeated two of the Dutchmen, Ruben Blyendahl and Mike Schlosser, in shoot-offs before beating Levi Morgan of the United States. And since then, he's really, really been shooting well. Bit yeah. of factor. Yeah, he's had a great two seasons. So there's your score, 30-29, in favor of the Frenchman, Sebastian Peinot. Up against Roberto Hernandez who a year ago here in Medellin lost to Rio Wild by three points in the quarterfinals. This year finds himself in the gold medal match. You have a favorite tint for your sunglasses? Depends on the... Uh, Depends on the lighting. The conditions, yep, yeah. Yep, I have one for cloudy, overcast. That's and the orange? Uh, it's actually, it's a golf lens, so it's kind oh. of a pinkish, bluish. 
Then I have another for f normal sun, and then I have my Arizona sun, I call it. It's for the full-blown. <laughs> Scorched earth. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hernandez. Ranked 25th in the world and averaging 9.7 points per arrow. Peno averaging 9.6 points per arrow. And falters just a little bit. We're tied. Yeah, I'm always amazed that more archers don't wear sunglasses. I know in the last year we've seen a huge increase, but I came from mountain biking and mm -hmm. had different lens tints for different conditions and was amazed that people would shoot outside every day without sunglasses. Mountain climbing next for you? <laughs> no, it's the coming down. My knees wouldn't like that. <laughs> Yes. Hey, no. Hits pay dirt. They're tied at 49. Yes. Hernandez hits great, the great. jackpot. All three in the X. Saw the bow arm there. <laughs> Trying to save it, but it didn't work. What happens in that situation right there? He's trying to save it. What went wrong? A lot of times the shot just goes off when your pin isn't in the middle. Mm -hmm. On the back tension? Yeah, I mean, it can happen. It can happen with any release depending on how you shoot it. But mm -hmm. you hear a lot of people say, yeah, it broke right there, and, and that's what they mean. So Sebastian trying to collect himself right now. Peno trying to win his second gold medal of this season. As we mentioned, he won in Shanghai beating Mike Schlosser. In Antalya, it was Kim Jong-ho of Korea beating Mike Schlosser. Been a tough season for Mike yeah. <laughs> outdoors. He's shot well, just hasn't gotten a lot of breaks. Mm -hmm. And then in Wrocław, it was Abhishek Verma of India defeating Esmael Ibadi from Iran. Here we have a Frenchman and the gentleman from El Salvador going head to head, and it's a one point difference between the two. Sebastian Peno led 30 to 29 after the opening end. But Hernandez picked up two points and takes the uh, one point advantage 59 58. So Seb goes first, and you can see him try Again. to whip it back in. Mm -hmm. And now he's frustrated. Trying to make the adjustments. And same thing from him, you saw. <laughs> so Pino catches a bit of a break right there, as Hernandez could have gone up by three, and he knows it. Yeah, and we see the wind is, is in that direction, so it might be pushing on their bow arm a little. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Peno, 28 years old, fifth in the world standings. And Hernandez running into some trouble here in the third end. We're tied at 77. He held a long time on that. He won't be happy. Strong, powerful Roberto Still right Hernandez. In, right there. <laughs> and again, we've got a match where it's going to be tough for one or the other to break away. Mm -hmm. They both had an opportunity, and neither has taken advantage. So it's tied at 86 after three ends. Final match of the day, of the weekend, of the week here in Medellin, Colombia. Again, want to thank the local organizing committee doing a tremendous job. Carolina leading the troops. And what a pleasure it is to come down here to Colombia, one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Mm. And the park here in the finals venue, very neat, very large iguanas out walking around. <laughs> you can practically touch them. You don't see that every day in Connecticut? No. <laughs> Definitely not. You have to be out in the morning, though, we found. If you go in the afternoon, they're all up in the trees. Oh, sure. They know where to head when it gets hot. <laughs> yep. 
86-86, Roberto Hernandez from El Salvador facing Sebastian Pinot of France. So they've both dropped more points in this match than they, than they probably did in any of their matches leading up to this. Hernandez was perfect in the second end, then offers up three straight nines in the third end. Pino opened up with three straight tens, but since then has scored 28 points in each of the next two ends. So six arrows left to shoot. With the sun setting in the west, looking into that sun and targets that are now in the shade. So just like the women, I think this is going to be the end that, that determines it. Great start for Hernandez. The bronze medalist in Cali at the 2013 World Games. Just did catch the line. Those clicks of the sight he gave it saved him on that one. Yes. Yes. Hernandez not backing Allez, down. Yes. And Peno puts it in the middle again. And a quick shot. One I'm sure he probably wishes he'd held a little bit longer. Campaigno, take advantage. No. <laughs> Not what you expected to see in the men's compound gold medal match, that's for sure. But it's a nail biter. <laughs> Both putting up 29 points here in the fourth end and remaining tied at 115. Going to go right down to the wire. And who knows, might go to a shootout. Not sure they're talking strategy. I think they're talking about the wind, <laughs> which is gusting a little bit now. So a test of their physical skills and also a test of their nerves, I would mm -hmm. think, Crystal. Definitely. But again, you love this situation. Yes. You like being in this situation. Yep. And the windier, the better. Windier the better. <laughs> and let's see. Let's put all the pressure I can on her. <laughs> but that's what it takes. No, that is well, what it takes. I live where it's windy all the time. I don't mm -hmm. shoot in calm conditions. And so I, I definitely struggle with having to be perfect, aiming in the middle every single arrow. Every single time. <laughs> Roberto Hernandez hoping to get some help from high above. Could be the three biggest shots of his career right here. Yeah. Not exactly rose-colored glasses, but that shot looked pretty good <laughs> through those lenses. And he's got a hole right there, so he's hit that same spot quite a few times. Pressure's on Peno. Yeah. He responds. Ooh. Hernandez knew it as and soon as he released. That's the match right there. An opportunity, golden opportunity for Peno. His second shot of the final <laughs> end, and yes, he <laughs> takes advantage. <laughs> and moves ahead by two. Yeah, Roberto's going to be remembering that arrow for a long time, unfortunately. Peno needing nine to win and take the gold medal. It would be a second of the season, and he's got it. Sebastian Peno wraps it up, and after struggling in the earlier ends, comes back strong, takes advantage of the miscue by Roberto Hernandez, and is able to wrap up the gold medal, his second of the season.
And that smile says it all right there. Sebastian Peno able to exhale right now. Took advantage of the eight by Roberto Hernandez on the second to last shot of the match. A hard fought, closely contested match. It went right down to the final two shots. And in the end, it's Sebastian Peno who comes away with a 145 to 143 victory. Great competition, great matches, the individual matches here this afternoon. All of them close. Yeah. All of them well played. Some critical moments and some great emotion that we've seen on the part of these archers. Sebastian Paynell 